Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of the Elder Futhark Runestone review. In our last video we went over the first half of the Elder Futhark Runestones, and in this one we're going to go over the second and last half of the Runestones themselves. So we're going to get right into it. This one is Pertho, and its letter in the alphabet is P. Its meaning is a dice cup. The interpretation is, it's a mystery what dice the cup hides inside. It can also symbolize fertility, and knowledge of your own destiny. This one is Elaz. Its letter is Z, and its meaning is an elk. The elk's antlers offer protection and warding off enemies and danger. Sometimes you need to stand still and protect what you have. The antlers were often used to connect with the gods. This one is Soilo, and its letter is obviously S, and the meaning for it is the sun. The interpretation is, the sun is essential for life, a very positive rune, and it helps crops grow, banish the darkness, and warms your body. This one is Taiwaz, and its letter is T. And the meaning of it is Tyre. Tyre, the god of war, offers protection and victory for a fight that cannot be avoided. It can mean leadership and authority, self-sacrifice, This one is Berkanon. Its letter in the alphabet is B. And the meaning for it is a birch tree. The birch tree is a symbol for new beginnings, patience is required, and it takes time to grow into a full grown tree. Fertility, birth, personal growth, and love. A really good stone. This one is Awaz, and the letter for it is E. And its meaning is a horse. It can mean travel or going on a journey when you are riding on horseback or you have a better view of what's coming than those who walks. It can also symbolize a mental journey or personal development. This one is Manes, and the letter for it is M. The meaning is mankind. The role each one of us plays in this life and your attitude towards others and your attitudes towards you working with others to achieve higher goals. This one is Lakaz. The letter for it is L. And it means water. Water can bend and overcome every obstacle. It can crash mountains. It can, water can help you to get your destination faster and it can block the way completely. Water is essential for life. This one is Ingwaz, and its letter is NG, for and it means new beginnings. This stone is about a new beginning in life, a new life, a new phase in life, Then it can mean male fertility or masculine powers. This one is Dagaz, and it means D. Day and daylight, a very positive rune, represents light and day. The new light of dawn gets rid of the darkness in the night, and it can mean a time to plan or begin something. This one is Othalan, and its letter is O. Possession, inheritance, and home. You can inherit a home, money, and other material goods, but you can also inherit knowledge, attitude, wisdom, and health. And this one, this is wired. And it doesn't have a letter in the alphabet because it's the newest um, addition to the Elder Fugark runes. And it means destiny. Word or the blank rune is a fairly new addition to the runic alphabet and is about fate and the web of faith. Weaven by the Horn Norns and it was used in old times. So that does it for this review of part two of the Elder Futhark runes. We've gone through every single one of them now. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to cast them. Now, I don't think I'm going to go through an actual question or sense, but I'll let you ask the question. You can pause the video when I say ask your question, and then I'll pull the runes, and you can see if what I pull has any relation or meaning to you. Thank you. Have a great day. Blessed be. My name is Johnny Walker. And I approve this review.